Welcome to All the Way Down. This is a short Lovecraftian adventure game. It's also completely free, and we'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Let's begin. Where the hell did this storm come from? Never have I been happier to see an open convenience store. A spar. It's a chain of convenience stores here in the UK. It's the sign for the National Lottery here in England. I don't play. I'd like to point out that the snow looks incredibly good. Like really, that snow is just amazing. Beautiful. I mean, it is Lovecraftian, so I know I'm supposed to be creeped out right now, especially with the kind of dread-filled, atmospheric, droning piece of music in the background, but damn, that snow is beautiful. One of those British mailboxes. Aren't they funny looking? I have nothing to mail. Oh, thank God. Listen. You local. I'm sorry? I don't recognize you. No, I was hiking and got lost in the storm. It just dropped right on me. Came out of nowhere. Lost my pack, lost everything. I'm very sorry to hear that. The nearest town is about eight miles to the west. Follow the road, past the pub, and onto the main track out of the village. Well, hold on a minute. I can't walk in this. Have you seen the weather? It's beyond lucky I even found this place. You don't know how wrong you are. Where, uh, is this place, by the way? I don't remember seeing anything in this area on my map. Before I lost it, that is. We're in Millvale, a small mining village. Mine's closed now, of course. They don't put us on maps. Not anymore. So what was I doing? Was I mean, did I come here in a car, or was I just on some sort of a, a hike or something? He obviously got caught out, caught out in a storm that he didn't expect. But what was he doing so far from civilization? What can you tell me about this strange place that isn't on a map? What can you tell me about Millvale? Well, not much really. I'm not local. I live in Hartington, a few villages over. My employer, they shut up shop there, so I had a choice of taking the job here or being made redundant. Seems like an eternity ago now. This place, it... Well, I shouldn't burden you with my problems. How are you going to get home? I'll weather the storm in the shop tonight. It's safe enough, I think. Could I, uh, maybe stay here tonight? Keep you company? No! I'm sorry. I don't think that would be a good idea. I don't know what they think of me putting up a stranger. Sure, I guess. Can I use your phone? I'm afraid that's out of the question. The storm knocked out the main trunk line. Not that it would do you any good, of course. The storms made the roads far too treacherous for anything. She's very... nervous about everything. Uh, about my questions, about the possibility of me staying here. It's almost like somebody has a gun to her head, not literally speaking, but... Yeah. There's something very, very wrong here. Do you know anywhere I could stay? Stay? In Millvale? You mean overnight? Sure. I'm not sure that would be a good idea. The next town is really not that far. Just stick to the road and keep the head down. Are you nuts? Five minutes ago, I was resigned to freezing to death in the dark. Anything is better than eight miles in this. <sighs> Try the miner's arms. It's just down the road. They don't generally put people up. 
but they might be able to do something. What do you think I should do? Brave the storm. It's better than anything you'll find in Millvale. So, you think it's more dangerous meeting the locals and just being here than going out into a storm where I'll probably freeze to death? Well, that doesn't bode well. I guess I'll get going. Take care. Hello? But what the hell was that? A you local? It's like something just walked across the screen. <sighs> Can I please get past? You're blocking the sidewalk, pal. Not local, then. Not local, no. Next village is no far. Just be on your way. Now for here. Jesus, what's wrong with these people? I just keep thinking of the time I played Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. Remember, uh, what was it? Innsmouth? Meeting the locals? They were very, um... Friendly. These people remind me of them. Miner's Arms. Looks recently painted. I can't see inside. The logo for the pub. A lantern cross with a pickaxe. So, uh, you get a lot of business around here? The barman, I guess. Another old guy. I think I might be the youngest guy in town by a few decades. Hey up there, lad. What can I get for you? Hi there. Honestly, it's just nice to not be asked if I'm local. Oh, it's quite clear to me that you aren't. You don't have quite the right look about you. You know, that's exactly what I thought. What can I get for you, then? The warm bed is really what I need. I was speaking to the lady at the store just down the street, and she said you might be able to put me up for the night. I know it's an imposition, but I've got cash and I'm willing to pay extra for your trouble. She said that, did she? Sorry? Girl up at Spa? Yeah. Alright, you know what, lad? I do have a room for you. It's been a while since it's been used, but I'm sure I can make you comfortable enough under the circumstances. Thank you. That's very reasonable of you. Just sit tight, lad. You're a fool. Excuse me? A damned fool, if ever there was one. Well, you're awfully polite. Must be that British charm. Can't you feel it, laddie? Can't you feel the evil? You're drunk. I it's the only way to be in Millvale. Alright, I'll bite. I got nowhere else to be. What is it, then? Satanic cult? Serial killer? Because let me tell you, I've seen every bad horror movie. That's the thing with people, isn't it? If there's something out to get you, it's just another person with fewer scruples than yourself. Sit yourself down, laddie. I'll tell you. Bloody hell. Bloody pigs broke right in half. They don't make them like I used to, that's for bloody sure. It started just as rumours. Noises here and there. Where is everyone? Hello? Sound off down there. How queer. Oh, this is so cool. So he's telling me what happened. That, uh, I guess, what happened to make the mine closed. And I get to actually play the... the tale. That's so cool. It's a post lamp. Can't reach it. They put the post lamps high up so we don't go knocking them about. 
Then it began to affect the miners. Can't reach it. They put. Ah, I do have an inventory. My old Anki. So we can use that to reach it? I don't see how that's gonna work. Okay, I guess that not. That won't. I have no idea if I'm even supposed to get that. But being an adventure game, I of course want to get anything and everything. Oh, there's a lantern right here. <clears throat> oh no, the bloody igniter's blown. Plenty of oil, but I need some way to light it. First it was little things, just odd little ticks. They'd mutter about them, the deep ones. I don't think that'll get me anywhere. Just need to light it. So I can't reach it, right? I don't see how. Let's see what's over here. I can't go down there without a bloody light. Can't. They both. I could make like a torch. I I've wrapped the handle in me old Anki. Then started the accidents. They found a miner with his pick driven into his eye socket, still alive and still muttering to himself. Next came the sightings. The miners themselves never said anything. They were too close, you understand. The miners knew. It were no mystery to them by now. Okay, I've lit the pick handle. It's only a tiny flame, mind. No use for actually lighting me way. There. Quite the little problem solver, aren't I? They knew where they came from. Down there. Down deep. All the way down, some said. Of course, the worst is yet to come. They won't be satisfied with Millvale forever. Oh no. Neat story, pal. If Millvale is so terrible, why doesn't everyone just leave? You don't understand, laddie. They're not just down there. They're up here too, in our minds. I can hear them even now. It's only the booze that keeps them at bay. That might be the most elaborate rationalization for a drinking problem I've ever heard. You almost had me going, old man. Your room's ready, lad. <sighs> Time to hit the hay. Is there a lock on this door? I really hope there's a lock, because I keep thinking about Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. And I keep thinking that when I go to sleep, they're going to come for me in the night. <laughs> the barman said he knew I wasn't a local because I don't, I don't have the look about me. I don't, ha I don't have the Innsmouth taint. They all look sick. They look really sickly. They sound sick, too. The door has a bolt on it. Does it? Can you bolt it, please? I guess that makes me feel a little better. Ah, yes. The door has a... It still looks pretty grim outside. Glad I have a bed for the night. Cheap, ugly paintings. Cheap. The bed. Looks comfortable enough, all things considered. I guess I should get some sleep. What was that? Is someone there? Oh no. They're here. I knew it. I can't just jump. Crap, do I have anything on me? No. Bed sheets? Can't just throw them out the window. No, tie them to something. Okay, here 
I go. You're awake. Ugh. What happened? You're not very good at knots, it seems, lad. <laughs> Banged your head right bad. I was hoping to get you quietly, but there we are. What's going on? Let me go. Oh no, I'm afraid not. You've a service to render unto your fellow man, you see. What are you talking about? We need to keep them down there, lad. All the way down. Them? You're insane. I well, it's the only way to be around here, you see. In Millvale. You're delusional. You can't feed me to figments of your imagination. Feed you to him? In a sense, I suppose. I wonder how long you'll keep him satisfied. What? What are you talking about? I don't know what they eat, if they eat at all. But it's not meat. They like the fear, you see. The pain. We were getting a bit desperate, to be honest. It's not enough for them. We do what we can, but... Funny thing, it's flesh. Eventually you get used to the burning. The cutting. The ripping. It stops being pain. It stops being fear. You start to appreciate the exquisite nature of it all. They don't like it when you want it. What are, what are they going to do to me? I don't know, lad. But you'll not be seen again. Wait, wait. I'll shout. I'll scream. Everyone will hear. They know, lad. It's the hole to where they are. The deep ones. Okay, I need to get out of here. I really need to get out of here. Okay, nothing on me. It's holding my left arm. It looks a bit loose. <clears throat> it moved a little. I can't move. It's crumbling a little. It's coming loose. There! I think I can untie myself. Well, that was suspiciously easy. A short length of rope. I don't need that. I'd rather not think about the hole too much. I don't think I want to turn off the light, so let's just go upstairs. It's locked. <sighs> okay, I still don't see what the light's gonna do, but let's try it. I'd rather not turn the light off. Okay. It's the light switch. Do I have to go down into the hole? Please no. That won't help. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Boards, no. Can't take the ring. Don't know what that is, but I can't take it. The vent is too small or something. I don't know. It's not an option. I can't click on it. Hmm. It does look like the only way out. But I can't exactly jump. Okay, so I do need to use the rope on that. It's a short piece of rope, though. That won't help. So where do I tie it to? It's way too short to be any use. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Wait, now I can click on the electrical cable? Oh, okay. That won't help. I don't combine them? That won't help. Okay, there we go. And then, what's the short piece of rope for? That won't help. That won't help. I guess we go down. Oh, God, help me.
feel watched. How long have the mines been closed? Apparently that person never escaped. What are these glowing mushrooms? The brake lever for the cart. A mine cart! I could ride this out of the mine. It must come out somewhere. I think the entrance to the mine is probably caved in or something. Whether accidentally or on purpose, I'm not sure. An old candle. Wick looks good. The candle is no real use for lighting. It's small and nearly spent. Looks like he's been here a long time. Anything on him? Uh, he had some matches in his top pocket. They look like they'd still work. Okay. Can light the candle, but I don't really have a reason to yet. Do I? What the hell is this glowing pool of, like, radioactive goop? It looks... oily. It's very thick and glows uncomfortably, but it is most definitely oily. So I could maybe light the whole thing on fire. But again, why would I want to? I really don't want to touch it. Rust it over. I can't move it. It's a lit candle. The candle is no real use for lighting. It's small and nearly spent. Well, I could use the candle, like, I could light the piece of rope on fire using the candle and use it sort of like a fuse, but why? How would that help? Exactly. How would that help? I don't think that'll help. The brake lever for the cart. Alright, so the brake lever is rusted over, right? Ah, it's rusted over. I can't Brake is on. It won't move. Oh, steel bar. Looks like a steel bar. Okay, let's see if we can use that to pry the lever. It won't budge. The lever is rusted stuck. Steel bar, rope, and matches. Uh, I don't know. Just light the goop on fire? How would that help? I think I already tried that. How would that help? I have no idea. Oh, there's a tin... Oh, my God. Talk about pixel hunting. There's a tin can right there. It's an old tin can. It's empty. Okay, so we can probably use that to scoop up some of the goop, and then use that to get rid of the rust. I've collected some of the oil in the can. That won't help. It's too thick. It won't flow into the gaps. Okay, so we have to heat it up first. That won't help. Okay, it's much more fluid now. Okay, the joint is greased. Okay, that helps, then we probably still need the steel bar to pry it. It's loose! The brake is off. Okay, let's go. Okay, time to go. I had made it. I escaped Millvale and their insanity. But I can't escape the dreams. It was all a lie, wasn't it? The deep ones. The fear. Why do I feel them, even awake? Why do I hear them? Why do I hear their voices? 
Oh, I heard that it had a really abrupt ending. And indeed it did. Okay, so not the most satisfying ending, but uh, overall that was actually really impressive. Particularly the art and the sound design. I mean, the art is just, it's really, really good. As in, like, full-on professional, looks beautiful, I don't think you could really improve it for the most part. And... I mean, this is, this is basically as good as I'd expect, like, uh, a modern Wadget Eye Games adventure game to look. Like, it just looks really, really good. Especially that snow. Mm, it's beautiful. And it's got voice acting. The voice acting is actually pretty good. Some pretty nice sound design, too. Just overall, in terms of, like, the the feeling of dread, as you can hear it right now, that atmospheric droning track. Wind, snow, footsteps, lots of cracks and creaks and stuff like that. A nice feeling of creepiness. For the most part, except for the end, where it just kind of... Just use the minecart and then, like, boom, it's over. It's way too abrupt. The ending was very unsatisfying. But, uh, but aside from that, everything else was just building up to a really nice sense of creepiness. You know, the way the uh, woman inside of that shop that you first go into, the way she just sounded so nervous about everything. Like she was hiding something and she really didn't want me to stay here and everybody else just sounded sick and weird. You know, there's just that really sickly feeling of there being something deeply wrong with this place. I thought that was really well done. There is definitely some pixel hunting, like finding that tin can and that stuff and the steel bar. A little bit annoying. So I didn't like the pixel hunting, but the actual puzzles that you do do were actually quite good. So aside from the pixel hunting, the puzzles were just pretty straightforward and just made sense, you know? You need to collect something, so you need a tin can to put it in, and then it's too thick, so you heat it up to make it more fluid, and... Yeah, it was all very logical. So, I'm impressed. A bit abrupt. Some... Definitely some pixel hunting, which I didn't like, but overall, it just... It's really good looking, and some impressive sound design, very creepy. A really nice sense of atmosphere. I am very impressed. Okay, so that has been all the way down. Once again, it's completely free. I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. And thank you for watching.